Remembered last time that the Philippine Air Force chief said that Defense Department is planning to acquire the retired UH-1H helicopters of South Korea, which counts a total of 21 units. But other than that, do you know that not only UH-1H is lined up in the planned acquisition? According to the Philippine Information Agency, it is said that the DND Secretary of the Philippines SEC, Delphin Lorenzana expressed interest not only in retired 21 units of UH-1H, but also in their retired MD-500 helicopters. <music> Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana expressed the intent in a congratulatory letter to newly appointed South Korean Defense Minister, Zhu Wook. He added the DND plans to conduct a joint venture inspection in the fourth quarter of this year. The Philippine Air Force is known to operate a number of UH-1H and MD-500 helicopters in its fleet. South Korea is known to have retired these helicopters from military service early this year. The Philippine Air Force uses the UH-1H primarily for cargo and personnel transport and disaster relief missions, while variants or models of the MD-500 in its inventory are utilized for ground attack or close air support sorties. The JVI will be conducted following strict biosafety protocols amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic by a team composed of representatives from the DND and the armed forces of the Philippines. DND spokesperson Arsenio Andalong said in a message. He added that the acquisition project for the South Korean UH-1H and MD-500 helicopters is still in the exploratory stage with the details yet to be finalized, including the timeline and number of rotary-winged aircraft to be acquired.